Welcome to the weekly dose on Ask the NP, all of the stuff you are too scared to ask your MD, and we're just jumping right into gonorrhea. Ugh, right, so gross. One of the biggest STDs in the whole wide world, okay? And it usually travels with chlamydia. But what's interesting about gonorrhea is that we are running out of ways to treat it. Yeah, so usually what happens is you're like, ah, maybe I have chlamydia, which is the one that you have symptoms from. So men who have chlamydia, usually their dick drips a little bit, it burns when you pee, you might even get a low grade temperature, you just don't feel right. That's usually chlamydia, gonorrhea goes with it. So we usually treat both of them. We treat gonorrhea with some penicillin, like old school penicillin, except it started getting resistant to penicillin. So then we stepped up our antibiotics and we're like, all right, we're gonna try the next bigger, batter antibiotics, and now gonorrhea is resistant to those. So in other parts of the world, they've been using even bigger, batter antibiotics, and it's not killing the gonorrhea. Now we have the first case of untreatable gonorrhea in the United States. It's actually in Hawaii. So it's coming your way if you are watching this in the United States. It might be already affecting you in the communities that you live all over the world. And this is a big deal because what this goes down to is me as someone who helps take care of you, I gotta not just pass out antibiotics like nimbly pimbly for anything. Another huge reason to strap on a condom is now we have this gonorrhea which can cause some serious health effects down the road that we can't treat. So please put the damn condom on. And even if you're taking something like PrEP, to prevent HIV or birth control, it doesn't matter. You can still get this gonorrhea that you can't treat. And if you already have HIV and then you get this gonorrhea that we can't treat, it makes it that much harder to be able to treat the gonorrhea. The crazy thing about gonorrhea that you may not know, most never get any symptoms. They actually don't even know that they have it. So if you ever have burning when you pee, discharge from your penis or your vagina, particularly like 24 to 48 hours after sex, that might be indicative of you are either one of the few people who does get symptoms from gonorrhea or it's chlamydia. Chlamydia and gonorrhea travel together. So you need to go in and get tested for this and get checked. Make sure you don't have this version of gonorrhea that like cannot be treated. And like I always tell you guys, this time I'm gonna beg, okay? Usually I scream and shout, I'm just gonna beg you, please, Please use a condom, okay? I know it kills the mood. I know it kills the sensation a little bit, but gonorrhea can like mess with your fertility in the future. Like you ain't making babies, not only infertility, but erectile dysfunction. It can lead to lots of other like neurological issues. Please just wrap it up, all right? Thank you guys for checking out the Weekly Dose. You are so awesome for this. Please like, follow, share this video, subscribe, all that jazz. I love you so much and I will see you next week for the Weekly Dose. Wrap it up.